Hey everyone, welcome back to Scoop of the Crispy. Mike here bringing you some more Bravely a Second. I'm here in the Cave of Vestments, getting done with the Templar Asterisk. So here we go. We're going to talk to Brave and see if he'll give us the Templar Asterisk. If, if we ask nicely, maybe, right? Like, please, por favor. It is said that the mystic thread used to weave the garb of the Vestals comes from this cave. Oh. But it is more than that to me. This is where your mother and I were once sheltered by the sage of Yoyana. Cool. It is the place where we were blessed with a strong, beautiful daughter. And the place where I made my resolve to take back this nation and rule it by my own ideals. Even seeing the faces of the multitudes who had rallied to our cause, our hearts still wavered. Dare we pitch our outnumbered forces against a great religious order with the power of the crystals at their command? Dare we did. We resolved to overthrow the orthodoxy, capture the earth crystal, and seize the throne. But how would we rule this new nation we would forge? How would we lead the world? After three days and three nights of heated debate, on the morning of the fourth day, I mustered my army. So this is where it all happened. Hmm. I see you have found the Grand Marshal's sword and shield. Yes, and yet indeed. you have equipped me there. Um, is this how you would answer me? Yes. That's right. This is my answer. We can't equip it. Explain yourself. As long as a nation exists, it will have enemies, whether or not it seeks them out. A ruler must That's have true. the power to fell those who would threaten the people's survival. This is why I sought the Grand Marshal's sword. And every nation has people within its borders, a citizenry that it must protect. To keep its subjects from harm, a ruler must carry a strong, sturdy shield. So, I sought out the Grand Marshal's shield. But when I took these two great relics, sword and shield, into hand, I suddenly felt afraid. You wielded a mighty sword and a stout shield, yet grew fearful. Intriguing. Mm. I thought back to what I had seen in my travels across the realm, and to what I had read in the histories. Stories of men who claimed power to slay their foes, but who forgot the ones they loved, and whose hearts grew cold. Men who gained the power to protect people, but then lost sight of themselves, and grew vain, proud, and complacent. They put too much faith in the power they'd achieved. It became all-consuming. It was all they cared about. That was what I was afraid of. Oh. Justice must be supported by might and authority. But when it is delivered at the point of a sword, it is not but coercion. You are right to fear power. Yes, even power sought in pursuit of justice is not immune from corruption. A stout shield is needed to protect the people in times of war. Yet the true goal should be a world with no need for shields. The noble course is to believe in the ideal. Find that stout shield, yes, but do not bear it. The little bird who left our nest has returned on the strength of her own wings. Along the way you were lost, injured and betrayed. You knew despair and cried in anguish. We were confused. We doubted everything. We closed our eyes and ears to the world around us. But you overcame the pain. You raised your head and did not shirk from the truth. You took your troubles in stride. I met new comrades and knew the warmth of friendship. I was emboldened. I listened. I learned just how much I still had to learn. I felt the love of my master, my friends, my family, and my father, who I always looked up to and strove to follow. Hmm. Your journey is over, my daughter. But you have one more trial to face, together, with the friends who stand beside you. Wait, what? Okay. Here we go, buddy. I am Bravely, Grand Marshal of Eternity. Bravely. This is your final Bra trial. Okay. Like I bravely shall spare default. no effort, offer no mercy. Begin! All right. Do this. You're gonna pay. Uh, 
Uh, this should be pretty simple. Pretty straightforward. This should be pretty. Oh. Let's finish this! I'm gonna use Thunderburst on your face, Papa! That better be good. What? That's it? Idiot, come on. What the freak, dude? What the crap was that? That was so disappointing. I'm so disappointed in you. That was good. There you go. See? Now they're all destroyed. What? That's it? Man. I gotta use this. Magic blasts face in. Oh, wait. Oh, do I not have? Yeah, dark. Okay, he's weak against dark. Let's try this again. Gosh, that's it. I'm back and better than ever. Oh, no. Hack at him, come on. Let's do this. There it is. Gosh. Never give up. There we go. That's what I like to see. Well fought. But your trial has only begun. Yeah. Okay, he's gonna heal himself two more times. Dang you. Here, try this. Hmm. Wait, let's do that thing again. What did I do? Let's try that. Uh, that was good. That was pretty good. Ow. No, don't. Ah. Uh. Tyrant Slow. You're mine. Was that the same thing that Tiz just did? There we go. Good. Good job, Alavash. Try that again. Try. Let's see what that does. We can see. Let's try this again. Hey, can. Oh, Magnolia. Ah. Let's try that again. That's there. No, don't. Ow. There we go. Well struck, but I will not fall so easily. Okay, third times of charms. Third times of charms. That's pretty good. Try the pressure point again. Let's see what this does. Oh, default. Mm. Crap! I'm giving him so many points. You know what, here, let's just abort. No. There. Gosh. Here, we gotta heal everybody. Hold on. Oh, nice. That's sweet. It's going to blow up everybody. That works. Okay, we can just keep doing that. Yeah. Hmm. Dude, that's sweet. Why do you... Uh... I gotta make sure he's out of... Oh. 
try that. No, stop defaulting. Ugh. these guys up. There we go. You have grown strong, my daughter. Yeah. Yeah. You gonna give me some good stuff? I'll take it. Level up Magnolia, she finally caught up. And there it is, the Templar Asterisk. Templar was pretty good. I remember it being pretty nice last time. Let's take a look. It looks cool, at least. I'm pretty sure. Let's take a look. Yeah, see? Look how awesome they look. That's sweet, dude. A warrior with formidable defense. Good offense and defense. Favor swords and armor. See? Boom. That's my cup of tea right there. Um, basically, it's a Templar. Wait, that's exactly what it is. It's a How magic strange. knight. For the first time in my life, I feel no regret or frustration in defeat. Perhaps oh. uh, this is what I had hoped for all along. Father. Pero papa. It is nothing. For being told I might never wield a sword again, this body served me surprisingly well. Oh, father. Now, you must take this. This is the stave of the Grand Marshal of Eternia. Huh. He, nay, she who bears it, holds full authority to rule the duchy. Rule Eternia? Me? Well, there we go. Yes. You have shown that you possess the strength to cut down your foes, the strength to protect your people, and most of all, the wisdom to know that though you possess both, you need not use either. There you go. Go forth and rule in wisdom. Grand Marshal Idia Lee. That's pretty cool. The future of Eternia, nay, of the world itself, is in your hands. No pressure. Yes, Father. No pressure. Grand Marshal Staff. Nice. All right. Sometime later. Why, Idia? Mother? What's going on? <laughs> Your father and I have decided to move out here to the woods. Wait, what? Seriously? But isn't this the wise one's place? Ha. Huh. <laughs> it certainly is. Or was. From what we've heard, he hasn't been around here in quite some time. Aw, sad. I've been thinking of renaming the place. Brave Lee's Needleworks. And say Juliana is okay with this? <laughs> Don't worry, dear. The old sage could never get angry at me. But listen, Idia, I'd like you to have a word with your father. Hmm? About what? About what? Oh, his armor. Even though we're retired and living here in the woods, he refuses to take it off. <laughs> I have grown accustomed to the proper ballast it provides. If I took it off, the next stiff breeze might carry me clear into the sky. I think I'll stay as I am for now. The full metal seamster, huh? <laughs> That's gotta be a first. Sir, the delivery you asked for. Alternus, I've been waiting for you. Fabric and thread just as you asked. If you exhaust your supply, simply say the word and I shall procure more. Thank you, Alternus. You're always so helpful. And what of the other items I requested? I have brought them, sir, but are these truly what you were looking for? Patchwork for apprentices. 100 embroidery patterns for spring and summer. Huh. Books. Yes. These are perfect. You're really serious about this needlework stuff, huh? Of course. Have you ever known your father not to be serious? For my first project, I believe I shall make you a quilted vest. Then again, Noble Tsuna hinted that he wanted a new tea cozy, and I promised to knit Alternus a woolen scarf. <laughs> Before that, the armor. Come on, change. It'll be fun. Oh. 
is it? So let's get our prizes and we'll get out of here. Star Corselet. Hey, that's cool. What? That wasn't even... Huh. Alright, well, never mind then. I remember this place all too well. Get some cat feather. Oh, hey, the fox! Come here. Around here somewhere. There it is. Gotcha, spider's web. Okay, let's sleep. Yeah, let's, let's have some story time. I'm good for it. Let's go. Dinner is served. Yeah, these are always fun. These are great. Finally! I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. Mmm. It's so tender. This mm. is divine. Mm. It's like a little symphony playing in my mouth with every bite. You simply must tell me, Tiz, what is this masterpiece? Uh meat? Hey, come on, Tiz! Magnolia is asking a serious question. Uh, sorry. How about roasted wild boar with blueberry sauce? The boar shoulder Carl gave us has really aged well. What's the sweet and sour flavor? That's blueberry jam. We had some in the stores, so I used it as a rub for the roast. Oh, right, the stuff I bought but never used. And what's this on the side? This warm risotto-like stuff. Rice, mostly. Tiz, you're doing it again. Oh, sorry. How about, uh, buttered rice porridge with mushrooms and wild vegetables? I picked a bunch of wild mushrooms and roots when we stopped for lunch the other day. I figured they'd go well with the buttered rice left over from yesterday. Buttered rice? From yesterday? That's right. I used the leftovers from Magnolia's dinner. Tell me, Tiz, do you have a philosophy de la cuisine? Huh? A philo what? A policy. Towards cooking, I mean. Do you have a particular approach? For example, you put lots of effort into presentation. Uh, I, I do? But everything is loaded with garlic, and he sticks to simple dressings like ketchup and brown sauce. Oh. <laughs> She's calling you a one-note cook. What? Come on, Magnolia. Pull some punches, would you? Idia, meanwhile, likes the extremes. Sweet things are super sweet. Spicy dishes get a quadruple dose of pepper. Yep, that's me. Food with a punch. She's not afraid to explore an experiment, which often results in total disasters. That sounds familiar. Remember her charcoal on the half shell? Uh, and the legendary soup of many colors? <laughs> Look, you have to try new things if you want to improve as a cook. You are trying to improve? But I have to say, there's a certain... je ne sais quoi about Tiz's food. It's tasty without being flashy, and it has real depth. Aww. It makes me wonder, just what is his philosophy? Where did he learn to cook? Hmm... I'm pretty sure I don't have a philosophy, and no one ever taught me, per se. I mean, I'm not a gourmet like Idia and you. I don't know about fancy ingredients and dishes. There must be something. Come on, don't be coy. Well, one thing I do believe in is not wasting food. Does that count? Like today, I used the boar meat we got and that extra blueberry jam for the roast. Then I had the idea to use up the leftovers from last night's dinner. We just happen to have the mushrooms and wild plants on hand to dress it up. Magnifique! Tiz, I think you have a wonderful approach to cuisine. It's nothing special. I just hate to see good food go to waste. Now that I think about it, you've never made a bad meal. Your dinners are always just right. Well, I'm not as adventurous as you. I stick with what I know, so I don't mess up all the time. Well, excuse me for trying to spice things up from time to time. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that reminds me. 
I made a totally unadventurous dessert, too. Sweet roasted chestnuts. What? Why didn't you say so earlier? Bring it out already! You really are the best, sir. Oh. How nice. That's so nice. Alright, well, let's get out of here, and we will continue on with the... What does that say? Uh, time to continue on with the main quest. There is one more... There is one more job I can get, but we're done. We are done. We're done with this. Get my prizes. So yeah, um, we're getting close to the end. Only a few more hours, I'm hoping. It's been it's been a long adventure, a long adventure indeed. So I'm just going to come over here and uh, lay this down. Boom. And we're gonna head into the Lon Lo Lontano Villa next time. We're gonna figure out what that monster is and what's going on. So go ahead and subscribe to keep up with all my newest videos. Leave your comments below. Check out all the other videos on my channel. And follow me on Twitter, at Scoop of Crispy. I'll see you next time, continuing on with Bravely Second.